question is how long will it take you to fill it up, okay? First things first, we eliminate all the sub-steps. Students have to develop those. They have to formulate those. And then notice that all the information written on there is stuff you'll need. None of it's a distractor, so we lose that. Students need to decide, all right, well, does the height matter? Does the side length matter? Does the color of the valve matter? What matters here is such an underrepresented question in math curriculum. So now we have a water tank. How long will it take you to fill it up? And that's it. And because this is the 21st century, and we would love to talk about the real world on its own terms, not in terms of line art or clip art that you so often see um, in textbooks, we go out and we take a picture of it. So now we have the real deal. How long will it take it to fill it up? And then even better is we take a video, a video of someone filling it up. And it's filling up slowly, agonizingly slowly. It's tedious. Students are looking at their watches, rolling their eyes, and they're all wondering at some point or another, man, how long is it going to take to fill up? <laughs> That's how you know you've baited the hook, right? 